is only this and let me uh, welcome ashutosh verma ji national spokesperson of the samajwadi party ashutosh verma ji the question is simply this is the prime minister when he is going abroad should the opposition be say saying that he is going abroad because his image at home is uh, diminished so he is going uh, to salvage his uh, image abroad uh, people abroad should uh, accost him should surround him and ask him why he does not have a muslim uh, minister he has he has representation of minorities uh, but the question is should you be asking this at home or is this a question you want other nations to ask your prime minister because you uh, possibly don't think uh, your questions are effective enough thank you navika and i don't think that uh, there is any reason that uh, whether i should or they should ask the question because every across the world they know who the narendra modi is i know uh, in the last few months what uh, barack obama the ex uh, president of america has told uh, something about has a comment on uh, narendra modi ji and you know that famous time magazines cover uh, uh, india's dividers in chief so there is nothing that uh, new that indian people or outside the india know about the modi everybody know how he does the howdy modi and how he behaves in india and outside the india the question is not that but i uh, i agree with you but uh, as a a prime minister now he is representing the country so it should not be like this in this way actually this happens because at two or three days back a new government has been formed and there is a rogue liberal across the country about the uh, vote percentage of narendra modi in his constituency uh, varanasi because this is the first time ever in the history of india that such a low margin has ever any prime minister has gained 1.5 lakhs is the lowest margin any prime minister has ever gained in his parliamentary constituency so definitely there was a shocking event for uh, pradhan mantri modi ji so definitely he wants to uh, come out from his uh, all these sorrows and what shock they have given by the varanasi so it's it's a basically a, a factor which is just about after the election and i don't find anything new that anybody has said about uh, pm narendra modi Anand Ranganathan, two hundred and forty uh, swearing in ceremony. Yet the opposition is trying to project that Modi has lost this election, and uh, when he is going abroad, it's only an image makeover, trying to uh, bolster his sagging fortunes in the country. How do you see this? Of all the times, good evening, Navika. Of all the times, Jokhar Manmohan Singh went abroad, we never heard a murmur or a chirp. that congress party garnered only 145 seats out of 543 be that as it may you see we are again fallen into this trap <clears throat> navika we are all busy rebutting jairam ramesh but you know credence is given to any man's utterances only after knowing his antecedents pata to lagao jairam ramesh hai kaun si cheez isse pehle ki unko logical aur rational samajh lo over the last 10 years we have seen these claimants for what they are industrial scale liars and hypocrites honestly if you believe in jainab ramesh then you are one who rubs his nails every morning to cure baldness god knows every time the fellow opens his mouth a cop shoots up from the pyre somewhere to search for more wood so as to expedite the process the guy is special i mean this is the same guy who once went to the most contaminated industrial site in the world the union carbide plant in bhopal and picked up a fistful of soil and said and i quote him i am holding the bhopal union carbide waste in my hand and i am still alive <clears throat> he is the same guy who thought if he could keep on repeating the lie that ambani was given 30000 crores and all the rafal offsets he would still be able to hide the fact that ambani was only given 850 crores and that the offsets were distributed among 72 companies hell included and recently this male opper of rahul gandhi was denigrating adani enterprises wasn't he and crying adani was steeped in corruption without disclosing that erstwhile congress rule states like chatisgarh and rajasthan were still invested heavily in adani to the tune of 85000 crores he is the guy who criticized modi for constructing a new parliament building when he was the one who demanded that a new parliament building be constructed he is the guy who said electoral bonds are the biggest scam and then refused to answer why the congress garnered 2000 crores through them he is the guy who criticized modi for bringing in the three farm laws when he was the one who was in the committee for making the congress 2019 manifesto that promised these very three farm laws 
He was the guy who, along with Montek Singh, Aluwalia, backed Manmohan Singh and formulated the new pension scheme and junked the old pension scheme and was then promising to jump the new pension scheme and bring back the old pension scheme in Rajasthan. After having done that in Himachal Pradesh, nearly bankrupting the state by utilizing 85% of its tax revenue of his scheme. And that was, by the way, coined by the Congress as the biggest freebie. Hypocrisy runs in his veins, but thankfully, it is hypocrisy and not something worse. Considering his disheveled Botox gone wrong, Manishankar Ayer look gives the impression that he is returning from here. Namika, let me conjure up an image for you. Just 10 seconds. Rahul is driving an auto that's run out of fuel and is being pushed by the outstretched leg of Jairam Ramesh, who is in his own auto, whose engine has heated up so much, he's sitting on the edge of the driver's seat, making it appear that a ghost is driving the auto. Who the ghost might be, I leave it to you to decide. Well, Sanjay Jha has taken out his headphones and has uh, decided to hear very closely uh, the points that you have made. Sanjay Jha, I will give you uh, time to rebut. Yes. Navika, you know something, I can take a couple of minutes and script out a very sarcastic, sardonic response to what I think has been a vulgar manifestation of cheap pot shots being done by Anand. Wow. It is basically making a mockery of what I think Sanjay. is still a serious debate. Now, don't interrupt me. Yeah, I didn't that... interrupt you. Let me speak. No, then don't Let go me personal. speak. Don't go personal. Yeah, hello. Hello. Me. What were you Revert doing me. with Jai Jairam Ramesh, man? Don't what were you doing with Jairam Ramesh? Let Jairam Ramesh go personal on yeah. me. I will expose you, you today. Are you, you are not his conjoined twin joined at the hip. Navika, can Do you rub your nails every morning as well? Navika, there's no point arguing with this guy. He is going to be suspended for another 10 years. No, Anand Ranganathan, Anand Ranganathan, you made your you made your speech. Now, now the right to rebut is with the Sanjay Jha representing the Congress. It's only fair. It's only fair. Sanjay Jha. Yeah. Navika, let me tell you, I will I I have learned one thing in my life. Don't ever get provoked. And just because somebody else's level is abysmal and scrapping the bottom of the barrel, oh, don't reduce to that pathetic standard. That is my response to you, Anand Ranganathan. By the way, let me tell you, let me tell you, whatever you have said can be replied in a million ways by me on this program right now or on Twitter just later. But you know way. what? Now but you know what? I, I will, I will I tell you what. But no, 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 hang on. Really Listen to on. me. Listen to me, do not interrupt me. I'm wrapping up in 15 oh. seconds. I refuse to get instigated by your vulgarity. I refuse to get provoked by your absolutely third grade subpar garbage. I'll leave it at that.